In this video, I'm gonna do a revision and recap session looking at unit one, section C, the physical landscapes of the UK. In today's video, I'm gonna do a, another revision and recap session, looking at everything you need to know for section C on paper one, which is the physical landscapes of the UK. Now, when you get to section C, you'll be given a choice of three different sections. It'll either be coasts, rivers, or glaciers. Now, my groups have done coasts and rivers, so they won't do the glaciers section. If you've been studying glaciers, then you need to make sure that you complete the sections you've studied with your teacher. In this revision session, I'm going to go through all the basic content you need to know for coasts and rivers. I'm going to briefly go through some revision techniques you could try and also provide you some practice questions. So when we're looking at coasts, you can look back at the two coastal videos I've previously made on this channel. Again, I did one video looking at the landforms and processes and characteristics of the coastlines and a separate video looking at coastal management. So when you start the coastal environment section, you're going to look at the different types of waves we see at the coastline. You're going to know the difference between weathering and erosion. And then also you're going to know the differences between erosion, transportation and deposition. Erosion is the breaking down of the rock. Transportation then moves that sediment and those broken down pieces of rock and sand through the waves and the sea. And then it's finally deposited on a beach, a spit or a bar. You need to know the difference between headlands and bays. You need to know the different features and landforms you might see. So erosional landforms, you get caves, arches, stacks, stumps, wave cut platforms and notches. Depositional landforms, which again is when that sediment and sand is dropped, constructs beaches, sand dunes and spits and bars. When we're looking at coastal management strategies, you need to know the differences between hard engineering strategies, soft engineering strategies, what managed retreat is, and have a coastal management case study such as Lyme Regis. Moving on to river environments. Now I've previously made a rivers playlist of videos. So I went around the UK and investigated all the different aspects of the rivers unit. When we start off looking at river environments, you need to know the basic features of a river and what a drainage basin is. You should know the differences between a long and a cross profile. You also need to understand the fluvial processes of erosion, transportation and deposition and how they differ to coastal environments. You need to have a good understanding of all the different landforms we find in the river, such as interlocking spurs, waterfalls, gorges, meanders, oxbow lakes, floodplains and levees, and estuaries. You then want to look on at the causes of flooding, as well as understanding what a hydrograph is. You also need to be able to apply all the different hard engineering and soft engineering strategies to flood management. And you should also have a flood management case study. I've previously visited the Banbury Flood Alleviation Scheme, so that's definitely one you should go check out. Here are just some of my suggested revision methods when getting ready for this section of paper one. First thing to do is always go through your revision guides or your exercise books and go back over your notes. Uh, again, you can be creating some flashcards, flip books or mind maps. Um, another practical exercise you could do is making some of the models so you could actually construct some of these coastal features and landforms as well as these river landforms using Play-Doh. You could also get out and try and find these features on your local river. Uh, you could then look at BBC Bite Size and do some more practice questions. Here are 10 practice questions that you could complete. There are five coastal questions as well as five river questions. It's really important that you apply the right information to the right unit. Previously, lots of pupils have got these mixed up and haven't applied the correct landforms, characteristics, processes to the coast section, the river section. So make sure you're getting it the right way around. That's just a quick summary of everything you need to know for section C on paper one. Now, when it comes to revision, it's really important that you take time to go through, through these things yourselves. Make sure you complete practice questions, make sure you're applying the correct information to the actual question presented. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more in the Sunday morning coffee playlist. And please give this video a like. 
Next time, I'm gonna get you prepared for paper two, and we'll be starting off looking at urbanization.